Chemistry 30 students, here's Lesson 8, Substitution, Addition, Elimination. What we'll do today is define, illustrate, and provide examples of addition, substitution, elimination, esterification, and combustion reactions. And we'll predict products and write and interpret balanced equations. Okay. All right, so uh, we've talked about esterification reactions in uh, how a carboxylic acid and an alcohol react and make an ester. Here we're going to see a substitution reaction. Okay, so in a substitution reaction, a hydrogen atom or a saturated hydrocarbon or benzene molecule is replaced by another type of atom. Often light has to be present for this to happen. Catalysts are often required, with benzene in particular. Two reactants become two products and it may produce more than one possible product. Okay, what do I mean? Okay, so let's say we take propane and react it with bromine. Now something needs to trigger this, so it might be sunlight that's making this happen, or another chemical like an acid that makes this happen, a catalyst. Uh, but look at what our products are. We make this halogenated hydrocarbon and hydrogen bromide. Well, what, it look, what does it look like? Well, it's very simple. We simply replace or switch. It's very simple. We simply replace a hydrogen with a bromine. Done. And so, you can see we have C3H7Br, C3H7Br, and HBr. Okay. So it's very simple, uh, and we can do that with benzene molecules, aromatics. Remember, benzene looks like this right here, but you've got to remember that this is C6H6. There's actually six hydrogens around there, right? Like that. And so we can switch or uh, replace a Cl with an H, and we can end up with that molecule. Uh, it can look like this as well. We can switch an OH with a Cl, but you can see it, these are just substitutions. Okay. All right, addition reactions, these are a little different. Two or more molecules combine to form a larger one. Usually occurs in the presence of a catalyst. It occurs at the site of the multiple bond, or the double or triple bond. And uh, we call this hydrogenation, or halogenation. So let's take a look. We have an alkene. We'd have to have a catalyst of some sort to get this reaction to happen. When we do our, our experiment, or our demo, you'll see how the catalysts work. Anyway, addition means we just add hydrogen to the site of the double bond. So the alkene becomes an alkane. Butanoin plus hydrogen makes butane. Okay. Uh, sometimes we'll have excess hydrogen. There's, there's such a plentiful supply that you can go through the reaction twice, if you will. So the first double bond, or the triple bond snaps, and then the double bond snaps, uh, because we had lots and lots of hydrogen available to, to saturate this molecule. Uh, we can halogenate the molecule in the same process. It's still addition. And, and now this is a halogenated hydrocarbon. Elimination reactions. These are the opposite of addition reactions. A single reactant becomes two products. All right, uh, we remove atoms. The result is an unsaturated hydrocarbon, and this occurs when heated, usually in the presence of a strong acid or base. So we we've got a basic solution. We add heat to it. Now watch what happens. Two atoms are removed. Now, when those two atoms are removed, something's got to happen here. Yes, you guessed it. A double bond must form. Perfect. Okay, it can look like this as well. We can remove an H and an OH. But the same principle applies. We form a double bond in our original molecule. Uh, it can look like this. In that our double bond could form here. But this is random. We, we can't precisely aim our technology to make this happen exactly how we want. And so it, it could happen here. The double bond could form here rather than here, meaning that these two atoms were removed. 
Okay. Finally, condensation reactions. These are similar to elimination, except there are two molecules that react, and their interaction produces a water molecule. Okay, so let's back up. So notice, I've only got one molecule here, and atoms are coming off the one molecule. In this next one, condensation, I've got two molecules. So this is like esterification. The H and the OH come off of these two molecules, not just one, but both. And then those two molecules go and form a new molecule called an ester. And, okay, and here's another condensation reaction. Okay, so again, uh, I've got two molecules involved to begin with, instead of just one. The CL and the H come off. That H goes and finds a place to bond. Now this negative disappears. Uh, this has an extra electron that it, it brought with it. And so it is CL negative. And of course here I need to create a double bond. So that's another condensation reaction. Okay, that's it for lesson eight.